square an n minus 1 plus a 2, which is equal to n plus 1. You can probably see what's happening. If we add the third number to the third last number, what do we end up with? We end up with n minus 2 plus 3, which is equal to n plus 1. And we're going to continue to do this, add the fourth number to the fourth last, the fifth to the fifth last, the sixth to the sixth last, and so on. Okay? Effectively, what we're doing is we're pairing off the extremities of this particular series. Okay? Now, if there's n numbers in the series, okay, there must be n divided by 2 must be n divided by two. There must, if there's n numbers, if there's n numbers in the series, well, the numbers of pairings that we can do is half that amount. Okay, so this particular sequence okay, of n plus ones, so the n plus ones, okay, how many of them are there? Okay, well, there are. If we did this for all of the numbers in the sequence in this particular series, okay, there would be n over two of them. Okay, so effectively, what we end up with is this: is that n over 2 times n plus 1 is equal to the sum, okay, the sum of the natural numbers, okay, uh, where i is equal to 1, is where i is equal to 1 to n. Actually, what I should probably put here is the sum uh, of all the numbers from 1 to n is equal to this particular closed form here. So effectively, now what we have is this, is that going back to our case 3, we now know that a n so we now know that an minus a0 must be equal to the summation of the first n natural numbers is simply n times n plus 1 over 2. And so we end up with an must be equal to n times n plus 1 over 2 plus a0 plus a0. And a0 is simply equal to a, so plus plus a. And this is our closed form. This is our closed form solution so if you want to find the nth term uh, in from a recurrence that looks something like this the nth term is simply equal to n times n plus one over two plus a okay? or let's actually say a zero a plus a zero where a zero is the base case okay so let's continue now let's make something a little bit more complicated let's say we have case four so now what we have is we have case Four, and what we're going to define is that a n is equal to a n minus one plus some constant times n. We're making it a little bit more complicated, and we're given some base case a zero is equal to some value a. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to use the method of differences to solve this particular, to find a closed form solution to this particular recurrence. Once again, the differences are defined to be a n minus a n minus one must be equal to must be equal to bn. We get that from here. Bringing the an minus 1 across, we end up what the differences look like. Now, if we iterate through these differences, so we end up with a1, a1 minus a0 must be equal to b times 1, okay, because 1 is n. a2 minus a1 must be equal to b times 2. Uh, a3 minus a2 must be equal to b times 3. And if we iterate down, the an minus one term minus the one before it, an minus two, must be equal to b times the index here that we have. The ind n is one, two, three. So n is n minus one here. And then the nth difference, an minus an minus one, must be equal to b times b times n. And once again, now we try to sum these up. You can see that the a1 cancels with the minus a1, the a2 cancels with the minus a2, the a3 cancels with the one before it, sorry, the one after. The minus an minus 2 would cancel with the one that precedes it. The an minus 1 cancels with the minus an minus 1. And what do we end up with here? The only things that are left is, once again, an minus a0 must be equal to all of these things. Yeah, well, what's this? This is b times 1 plus b times 2 plus all the way through to, to plus b times n. There's a common factor here of b. So this is the same as, what do we end up with? We end up with a n minus a zero must be equal to b times one plus two plus three plus all the way through to n. And we know what the sum of the first n natural numbers are. It's n times n plus one over two. So we end up with that a n must be equal to b times this. So it's b times n times n plus one over 2 plus 
A0, okay? which gives us our new closed form solution to for the nth term associated with a recurrence. Okay? Uh, so guys, I just did a few examples here of solving uh, solving some degree one, degree one recurrences, okay? Uh, but the important thing about the degree one recurrences are that they were either homogeneous uh, or they were heterogeneous, okay? And we looked at four particular examples. So once again, guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats, and I hope that this video was in some way intuitive. And more importantly, I hope that was helpful, helpful to you. And thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye.